Hello everyone, welcome back to Complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series. In our last video, I show you how we can display success and error message on submitting of our form, which is help us to create category in our database. And I also show you how we can add the edit functionality for each of our category. Now, if I click on any edit button of any category name, it will take me to the edit category page where I will able to edit any category information, right? Imagine. So today we will start from here. We will complete the edit category functionality. We will update the category from this form to our database. Then I will show you how to work on the delete functionality. We will delete any category name or any category information from uh, on clicking on this button and directly from our database. Next, next what going to be happen uh, after completing this delete functionality, our category work from admin panel going to be done. We will move to our subcategory work directly. So let's do it and enjoy the show. Very fast, let's go to our edit.blade.psv file, which is inside of our category folder. Okay. Uh, which we already created in our previous video. You may already follow that. If you not, go check out that video first. So, what we going to do here? Very fast, we will use here a method called put. Okay, method called put. Put is recommended method for updating any existing database information. We use get method to read data from our database. We use post method to uh, inject or submit any new information in our database and uh, we will use the put method to update any existing information from our database but the problem is html from only support two different methods one is post another is get then how we will use the put method in the from method we will use post okay then here inside of our from we will inject a hidden method by using this um, at the rate method okay at the rate method we just need to type here put and this will inject a hidden method inside of our from nice so this is a recommended method for updating existing category information mark that okay next one first of all let's go to our web.psp file again and in the master category controller route roof, we will create another route. And this time, this is going to be route put route. Okay. Route put route. We saw get route, we saw post route. Now we are seeing the put route. And this put route will help us to update our category. So this you are going to be slash category slash update slash id okay and the action name going to be update get okay and the route name going to be update get now all i have to do is i have to simply create this update get function in my master category controller file so i go back to my master category controller file and here after coming and typing public function update get this will simply use the request method to get information from our from where we submit it and, and it will also get the id of our category from the route right because you can see here we are passing the id of the category in our route as well imagine now our work is very fast to go to the edit.play.pc file again in the action type route and our route name which is update cat or what let me see update dot cat right update dot cat so just copy it like this and type here um where here in the edit.blade.psp update get and also let's pass here our category id which is inside of our category info right so yeah just copy category info and type here id 
and this should pass our category ID here. Nice. So everything is set up done. Next, all I have to do is I have to change this text from add to update and that should be it. Now I go back to the master category controller file again and here very fast I want to get the category who is I want to update. So using the category model, I will find or fail, okay, find or fail the ID. Okay, what it will do, it will simply cast this ID and query in our category model, sorry, query in our category table using the category model and find the ID we see passing here. If it find, then query will continue. If not, then it will finished. Okay, nice. Next, I want to validate the data as same as I did in our store category. So just copy that from here to there. So our data will validate as same way as we did when we stored the category in our database, right? Okay, fine. So whenever we are updating our category, it also need to be unique. It also need to be max 100 and min 5. Next, all I have to type here is category. And yeah, just type here category, then update, and then simply pass our invalidate data here. So what it will do, it will update our database category. Now, all we have to do is we have to return, we redirect, back to the page where we submitted the form with a message right with a message and this message going to be category updated successfully emerging all right now you can see here we already have if session has message it will display the message if session has error it will also display the error and because uh, we copy this create.blade.pc file to create our edit.blade.psv file and this way we already have the score now imagine everything should be fine now and uh, i hope we will able to edit any category if we want to now i want to change this category tv from tv to television let's do it so yeah let's try here t l e v i s a o n let's see category updated successfully if i go to my database so go to my database ele.com then go to categories and you can see it's right now television instead of tv if i want to edit any other category like laptop to notebook okay and you can see category updated successfully and if i come here and refresh and you can see it's also updated now if i want to submit the same name like um, television here instead of notebook then it should give me error right category name has already been taken imagine so everything working perfectly so we can say our edit functionality is done next we have to work on deleting category okay for deleting category what we will do let me go to the manage.blade.pc file again and here we have the delete link instead of using here delete link it is recommended to use here from we can also use link but recommended is from so we are going to use from okay for deleting any category we will need another math um, route right so let's create that route and this route going to be route delete okay this is another way of creating route and this route going to be solely responsible for deleting any record from our database which is going to be category slash delete slash id so let's type here delete cat and delete get as well let's copy it because we will need it right now 
go back to manage.bread.php file again and in from action let's type our route and our route is delete category and type here our category id as well and let's type here method is equal to post as again html only support get and post method we will use here post but inside we will use csrf token and then we will use at the rate of method is equal to delete amazing amazing now type here input type submit okay or whatever you want to and value is equal to delete give it a class of btn btn danger okay that should be it let's see let's see here okay we have the delete button right now now we need to create that method that delete cat method in our master category controller file so we go to master category controller file type here public function delete cat and it will receive the id of our category then simply do what there's two different way we can delete a category but easiest way going to be like what category find or fail id then simply delete it okay just simply delete it that's it nothing else and then we want to return redirect back as like before with a message category deleted successfully okay let's make it uppercase so it will look better imagine everything should work now let me see i want to delete the smartphone category okay deleted but message not displaying because in the manage.bladed.pc file we did not use the session right so as like edit.bladed.pc file we, i want to copy this if session has message and paste after the all category if session has message alert alert success and this is going to be session message my2 perfect now again come back here let's delete the television now you can see category deleted successfully imagine it's working so yeah category work is fully done and now our next work going to be in sub category and uh, you may get boring in our category video because we create three video to complete the full category things but in sub category we will do everything in like one video or two video in first video i will explain the relationship and how we can create the relationship using the model file and so on and then in our next video we will do everything else okay so yeah now we will speed up everything because i will show you how the crude going to be work right so yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.